Hello and welcome to Car Comparos. Today we are going to compare Mahindra Scorpio versus Tata Safari Storm. Pricing and features: The range-topping Safari Storm VX 4x2 manual will cost you around 16.5 lakh rupees on road Delhi, which is around 60,000 rupees more expensive than Scorpio's S10 two-wheel drive manual variant, which costs around 15.9 lakh rupees. Scorpio S10 has a long list of extra features over the Safari Storm VX, like automatic climate control, tire pressure monitoring system, LED DRLs, touchscreen, navigation, automatic rain sensing wipers, automatic light sensing headlamps, auto up anti pinch drivers window, and cornering lamps. The Storm has only one extra feature that is absent in Scorpio, which is its electrically folding mirrors. performance and drivability the safari storm looks quite impressive on paper but fails to display the same enthusiasm on tarmac tata has turned on the turbo to the max giving it massive amount of turbo lag below 2000 rpm this makes it quite cumbersome to drive in the city traffic the scorpio on the other hand has gone for a more sensibly sized turbocharger which spools up at just 1200 rpm making it a cinch to drive during city commutes both engines have a potent mid range with safari's higher torque output giving it an edge over the scorpio while overtaking heavy vehicles on the highway both engines are reasonably refined and free driving which is a welcome departure from the older engines that used to power the predecessors of these two cars fuel efficiency The Safari Storm has an ARAI certified mileage of 13.9 kmpl which is 1.5 kmpl less than the Scorpio which has the fuel efficiency of 15.4 kmpl. In our back to back test the Scorpio was almost 1 kmpl more efficient than the Safari Storm. Space and comfort In spite of their ginormous dimensions, both these cars have disappointing space inside their cabins. Safari Storm has a slight advantage over the Scorpio thanks to a more spacious and comfortable middle row as well as a more ergonomic driving position than the Scorpio. The third row seats in both cars are absolutely worthless even for small kids. because of the horrendous ride comfort scorpio does provide an option of a tiny forward facing third row but that too is no less than a punishment for its passengers for cars costing more than 15 lakh rupees they have despicable cabins with subpar materials and fit finish even compared to cars two segments below them ride quality and handling Both cars have simply terrible dynamics thanks to their ancient leather frame construction. However, even among the two, the Safari Storm has significantly better road manners than the Scorpio. It has a more pliant ride than the Scorpio and transmits far less impact from the bumps and ruts compared to the Scorpio. Scorpio also exhibits better stability at speed as well as under panic braking. Both cars roll like yachts. have absolutely no feel or feedback from the steering and are frankly scary to pilot around the bends but what they can do well is to eat up bad roads mud roads or even no road situations without even breaking a sweat for the price they are couple of the best off roaders available especially if you order them with the four cross four option reliability and after sales service in olden days both mahindra and tata motors used to sell in the same boat of if you product reliability and questionable after sales service back then intica and safari were looked at in a better light than bolero and scorpio but then mahindra started focusing on customer satisfaction at the service stations while tata shifted focus to development of newer platforms mahindra started free of charge replacement of failed parts and slowly patched up the reliability issues establishing reasonable trust with their customers their gamble paid off big time allowing them to slowly increase the prices of their cars and establishing themselves as the leading uv and suv manufacturers in the country meanwhile tata motors product got more and more complicated especially the failure prone electricals became the achilles heel of tata products today tata motors has a lot of catching up to do especially in terms of customer service provided by its thick skin dealers the final verdict truth to be told none of this car is worth buying 
the world has moved on to lighter, more efficient monogog based SUVs. But if you must choose between the two, we would recommend the Safari Storm. It may not have the electronic gimmicks that the Scorpio has, but it has stronger fundamentals. It rides better than the Scorpio, feels much more stable and confident at high speeds and even corners a little better than the Scorpio. It's a close call as the Scorpio fights back with lower ownership cost as well as better after sales service. However, Safari Storm's stronger fundamentals are reasons enough to tilt the balance in its favor, and that is why it is the winner of this shootout.